Welcome back to another episode of Teachers in Transition, the podcast and the YouTube channel. My name is Kitty Boytnot. I am the owner of Boytnot Coaching and the founder of Teachers in Transition. I have uh, offered services as an experienced career transition and job search coach to teachers who are burnt out and ready to make a career change since 2013. And I'm also a certified stress management coach. So I alternate topics each week between career transition and stress management strategies. And this week, the topic is stress management strategies. Now I'm following uh, the outline of a course that I created a few years ago on the specific strategies that teachers can use to more effectively and proactively manage their stress. And on the weeks that I've been offering stress management strategies for the last several weeks, that is the course I've been referring to. This week, the topic that comes up in the course that is related to how to manage your stress is how to manage procrastination, which affects your stress, by using Mel Robbins's five second rule. Now, if you aren't familiar with Mel Robbins, you need to check her out because she's phenomenal. I had the pleasure of hearing her speak in person at a conference a few years ago in Washington, DC. And she just, she inspired me no end. She has a great talk called uh, something about the the F word, (laughs) which turns out to be fine. And she advises people to stop using the F word. and, And when people ask you how you're doing, don't respond with the automatic, I'm fine, because more often than not, you're not. She also talks about other things that we all need to be aware of and reminded of. And one of her topics is the the whole issue of procrastination and what can happen to our lives if we get caught up in the rut of putting off constantly the things that we know we need to be doing and how those things can start to pile up. And the longer we procrastinate, the worse we feel, the longer the list of things to do and you get where I'm going. So she created what she refers to as the five second rule. And she shares in her book of the same title, the five second rule, that she came up with the idea uh, when she was watching the countdown for uh, one of NASA's uh, satellite launches. And it occurred to her that if if you could make yourself get into the habit of counting down five, four, three, two, one, instead of blasting off, you just get up and do whatever it is you've been putting off. And it became a habit for her and it became a rule that she goes by and now that she teaches to probably hundreds of thousands of people because she's been talking about the five second rule for years now. So I wanted to uh, introduce you to Mel Robbins, M-E-L, R-O-B-B-I-N-S, like Tony Robbins, only I don't believe they're related at all. Uh, She is a life coach. I think she's a podcaster and know she's a television show host. (laughs) You can find her. She's a TEDx speaker. You can find her online. Just Google Mel Robbins and check out the book, The Five Second Rule. The whole idea is that we become stressed out and the stress can cause us to feel uh, stuck and immobilized Mm -hmm. and unable to move forward, to take on anything new, you know, that is, it, it sort of creates this sense of lack of motivation that becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. We're too tired to do anything, which means nothing gets done. And then we're too tired and too overwhelmed to tackle anything that needs to be done because where do you begin? And and this becomes a, a ongoing cycle. 
If you're a natural procrastinator, you know exactly what I'm talking about. How you can just continue to put things off and continue to put things off until you begin to feel crushed under the weight of all the things that need to be done in your life. And this is one strategy for helping you to break free of that cycle of procrastination. Now, there are others. You can, again, Google strategies for ending procrastination. Mel Robbins only has this. She has this one particular strategy that worked for her. And according, you know, based on the many testimonials she's gotten and that are in, even included in her book, it has worked for other people. I've recommended it as part of my course for how to break that cycle of stress that's caused by putting things off and procrastinating for too long. And I think it works. Uh, I've tried it for myself and I can say as a personal testimonial that it works. So check it out. I'll include some links to the YouTube of uh, speech that she's made about the five second rule and to her book and to her so that you can find her. And I want you to take a few moments and just consider what you might feel like, how free you might feel if you were able to at last rid yourself of all of the things on your to-do list because you've been putting off getting to your to-do list. How freeing it would feel and the weight you would feel lifted off your shoulders if you weren't constantly battling this whole notion that you've got a million things to do and not enough time in the day and not enough energy to do any of them. It can make a huge difference in relieving your stress, I promise you. So give it a try, check it out. And uh, as always, if you would leave a review of this podcast so that other people can find it more easily, send me questions, comments, suggestions for topics that you'd like to hear me speak to. If you'd like to reach out to me personally, email me at kittyboytnot at gmail.com. And I hope you have a wonderful week. It's spring, finally. People are getting vaccinated, finally. We see light at the end of the coronavirus tunnel, I hope. And uh, so stay, continue to wear a mask, continue to stay safe and be well. And I'll see you next week. Have a great one.